Welcome, Bravo Doers. Buckle up for this world journey as we explore accounting together. I'm Eva, I'm a business analyst here at Odoo and also an accounting expert. In our company, p Cars, a great amount of our employees' time is spent handling accounting activities. Thanks to Odoo, we have the opportunity to keep all accounting transactions and documents in the same place, which allows us to save a lot of time and avoid mistakes. With Odoo Accounting, we can be much more efficient thanks to all the functionalities available in the software. In addition, there are a lot of integrations with the other apps like Sales or Inventory, which is even easier for us to get the right information from the other departments. This course will cover essential notions and configurations to help you set up your accounting in Odoo. You see here an overview of the main topics we will see together in various videos. What an exciting program! We have frequently attached helpful supporting materials to videos and you can access them through the links below those in the list view. In the documentation, you'll find additional theoretical content and some frequently asked questions on our accounting topics. Together with me, you'll see some of my colleagues following the tutorials. Hi Eva, I'm happy to join this course. So what are the most important configurations to start my accounting in Odoo? Well, I'm very glad you asked this question, Chiara. The bare minimum to make sure your accounting app is ready to go live are based on three pillars, the chart of accounts, the journals, and the taxes. If you have those three things properly configured, you are ready to go for your first invoices. Please note though, that we can have additional configurations to make based on the other apps you might have in your database. Let's have a look at what accounting looks like in our Pinkas database. Okay guys, so here we are in our Odoo database. Let's go in the accounting application to see how it's constructed. So here you arrive first in the accounting dashboard and you already have some information available for you. So we are in a Kanban view. So each box here represents a journal in your accounting. And above all, we have also the onboarding wizard, wizard available to help you out to set up your accounting application. So how come you already have some journals and some information in your accounting app without having uh, set up any configuration? Well, that's because when you create your database and you have chosen your country, Odoo will install the uh, accounting localization package related to that country. To access it, you need to go in the configuration menu and in the settings to know which localization package was uploaded. So here, the first setup is for the fiscal localization. And as you can see here, my package is the Belgian one since I'm in a Belgian company. You can decide to install more packages if you want. For example, if you are in a multi-company environment uh, and you have companies from different countries, you might need to, of course, upload a new package. Please note that this feature will disappear if you have any journal entry created in the system, even in draft, it will disappear. So make sure you have the right localization ready before you go live with your accounting. Now let's go back to the dashboard to see how it's built. So as I was saying, we have also here our different journals and you can see the different types super easily. So we have access to our customer invoices, to our vendor bills, to our bank statements, so all in one place. Through the onboarding wizard, you have to configure all those before being ready to go live. So first, with the, the Odoo, we want you to set up your accounting period. So make sure that the Odoo needs to know the last day of your fiscal year. You have also the possibility to update your chart of accounts. So from here, you have access to the chart of accounts from the localization uh, that was uploaded. And you can change super easily, as you can see, uh, like uh, fiscal year, you can change whatever you want, change the names, change the code like this super easily and save all you want. And if you come back to the dashboard, of course, here it will be validated. Also have the taxes and the bank account that you can synchronize. All those steps uh, have been explained in other videos in the e-learning, so don't hesitate to check those out to make sure that you don't miss any configuration. Another thing that the localization will upload is also legal reporting from your country. So here, for example, here in Belgium, we have dedicated, uh, dedicated reports. But for countries for which we don't have enough information in the legal reports, we also have generic statements for the balance sheet, for the profit and loss, and so on. So even if the localization package is not complete, you will have legal reports available for you in the system. That's all for me in this video. Thank you for watching. Ciao a tutti.